What's up everybody? We're the Adventure Boys and today we're going to be showing you how to backflip. Let's get started. Alright, so I know how to do a backflip. He does not. He's actually learned a couple times, but he uh, <laughs> he's forgotten like not doing it enough and then forgetting or just like not putting enough time into practicing it. So, um, we're going to be teaching you the way he learned and the way I learned and you can find which way is the easiest for you. And also, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, make sure subs to subscribe because we're going to be making a lot of videos like this uh, here pretty soon. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so the way I learned is actually the way me and my older brother learned. Um, we both learned doing uh, where a method where you do uh, what's called a makaku um, or a mak makaku. Um, it's basically where you slowly go over. So, like, you're going to start by going like because the reason you do this is like for a backflip when you go up and back it's scary to get over the going back like that action is not natural because you can't see where you're going you're like upside down where you can come down and fall and, and hurt your back or your neck or your head like it's just a like weird trick to do so like for a front flip where you go forwards like that then you can see where you're going. But for a backflip, like, you can't see where you're going. So, to get over that fear, you can go, like, over the side, like, with one hand or two hands, like, if you need it. Like, go like that. And just start off, like, it looks completely ridiculous and, like, just bizarre. But, um, if you, then you can do, like, one hand and just do, like, little, like, turnarounds. And then as you get more confident with turning around, you can start to go, like, over more and more. You can do like 10 to 15 increments of like each turn. So like go over a little, little bit more each time. So like from here to here, here, all like all, until you're going basically straight back and that will help you get over the fear of doing the backflip. So like for example, you would like maybe do that much if that's what you're comfortable with and then that much or however fast you, you need to, you feel like it's right for you to keep moving at that speed. So like me and my brother actually had to uh, do like a lot of different increments like to work our way up to going more back. So once you work your way up to being able to go back a lot, it's basically this gonna look something like that where you use one arm to support you. It's kind of like a one arm back handspring. So. So once you're going back all the way, like almost straight back, then you can start to take pressure off of your hand and just like start to take it away. So like let's say you you do like that, where you take a little bit of pressure off of it. Then you take it away a little more until you're basically just doing like a sideways backflip, which is called a hack flip. And that will help you get over the fear of going back. So all right, so and do, when you're doing this, you're gonna want to pick your dominant arm for the macaco and the hack flip. So for me, that's my right arm. It's my more comfortable, my stronger arm. So I'm gonna be going over that way. But if you're left-handed, then you can go over the left side. Like it, it's just whatever feels comfortable to you. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate a hack flip. I don't know how hacked that is. Alright, so the way I learned is actually with them spotting me. If you don't know what spotting is, it's basically where somebody helps rotate you around and it's there in case you start to like not make it around. So if you're like upside down and you can't make it all the way because you didn't talk hard enough, whatever the case is then somebody can spot you and pull you all the way back around on your feet so you don't land on your head. You can look up on YouTube how to spot someone, or if you're the one trying to learn the backflip, you can have somebody you trust and <laughs> trust to keep rotate you around to spot you. So basically what it is, is, you can put one hand on the lower body and one hand on the upper body and rotate them around. You can use like a sheet and rotate them around. You can, use, you can just do one hand, but uh, to start off, I recommend if somebody's spotting you, you have them spot you with both hands just so if you start to not make it around, you can, they can rotate you around make, so you don't land on your head. Alright, so 
Um, he's, like we said, he actually does not know how to do a backflip. Um, he gets ready to do it and then chickens out and then like doesn't want to go for it. When I'm there, he's fine with it, but when I'm not there, then he chickens out and gets, gets scared. The feeling, once you actually go over, it's like amazing feeling, like if you only know things like front flip and going forwards, and because uh, like I put it off learning the back flip because it was a scary trick, so. Um, but once you learn it, it's an amazing feeling. Um, and I've learned a lot of tricks since then. None of them give you the same feeling. All right, so here he goes. We're gonna, uh, he's gonna be giving it his first attempt and I'm gonna be spotting him quite a bit. So it helps to coordinate it. If whoever's spotting you and you can do a countdown and you know when you're both gonna go. So it's not like just whenever they go, then you try to keep up. So for the, here we go with the first attempt. Five, four, all right, so as you can see, he already knows from learning it before, because he, like we said, he's forgotten and remembered over and over, like <laughs> probably forgotten five, like five times, just because he doesn't cement it in his mind on how to do it. So uh, you can see he's going, using the basic, uh, like the basic movements of a backflip. basic movements of it down pretty good now so now he's gonna go ahead and try to do it without me spotting him but I am gonna be giving him a little bit of a bounce just to make it easier um, and then I can also run in and grab him if he starts to fall. Okay ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. So now I'm gonna completely get out of the way and let him go ahead and do it. Oh, I need a bow tire. Yeah, jump a little higher. Oh, your hand touched. Come on, you got it. All right, so there was his first one after relearning the backflip. Um, now he can give you some tips if you want to call it that. All right, so the makaku kind of, I can't like do that shoulder motion with putting your arms back. So I wanted to learn with a new method and he uh, spotted me with doing the backflip. So, and I had a really big fear of going back. So some of the things that I would do is just, it sounds retarded, but kind of do a backwards summer, somersault. So kind of just go like, like jump onto your back like you're gonna do a kaboom, if you know what that is. Yeah, so I'll let you show. I, I don't really know how to do a proper kaboom, but I can do somewhat of a kaboom. So yeah, like going like that and landing on your back and then just kind of like flipping. Yeah, cause that gets you over the fear of going backwards, like over your head that way. Yeah, so doing that and like you can do it on a bed, kind of just roll back just to get over the fear of the- Also if you have like a yoga ball or something, you can like put that in back of you and like lean back and like roll over it back, like go over it back backwards and like put your arms down. Um, there, there's a couple different ways, or a bunch of different ways you can get over the fear of going backwards. And then for tucking, I kind of have the tendency to stay completely open in the air. So it helps if you just jump and tuck like that. Yeah, so like just as like a practice before you actually do the backflip, just jumping and tucking yeah. can get your 
like tucking snappier and quicker. And then also going like swinging your arms back and then tucking, so like that. Yeah, I didn't so do it very much that time, but. So uh, about tucking, there's a, a bunch of different ways you can tuck. You can do like pikes where you like tuck, pull your legs up to your chest. Um, you can tuck like that, like just pull your leg legs up like that in the air. You can pull your legs kind of like out to the side like that. Um, you see that, that's common when doing like doubles or triples, like tri double or triple backflip. And then also you can tuck under your leg and pull them up to your chest. So whatever feels like most comfortable to you. I just wouldn't recommend a pike for like a tuck for learning a backflip, but out of these, th like here, here, and here, you can really just pick what feels the easiest to tuck, the easiest to get up fast. And I just kind of use the same method as front flip, where you just like go like that, you know, and throw forward and grab. I just kind of use that same method, but obviously it's back. Yeah, so you're kind of like going up, grabbing on, and then going. So you can practice it by throwing your arms up, coming back, and bringing your legs up, so like this. Something like if you're used to doing a front flip, um, like he was, then you're gonna end up probably trying to like angle for angle your body forwards like this. In reality, what you kind of want to do for learning it, not once you get better and are trying to do like consecutive backflips and stuff. But once you uh, or when when you're learning how to do a backflip, you kind of want to like launch yourself back. All right. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content like this. And if you have any special requests on tricks you want us to teach, leave them down in the comments below. And until next time, bye.